Right now, the city of Greensboro's mayor is touting opportunity. She's touting growth and innovation from business to road projects and adapting to societal change. Mayor Nancy Vaughn is joining us in the studio to talk all things Greensboro and answer your questions live on air. You can text those questions to 336-379-5775. You see the number at the bottom of your screen. And of course, we'll ask the mayor. So thank you for joining us, giving the folks at home a platform to get their questions answered today. Oh, thank you. It's my pleasure to be back in studio and to be able to do this. Yes, thank goodness. Uh, three years, long time. Yes, it has been a long time. All right, so there's a lot of topics on the table. And we're going to start with one of the city's top concerns and that's crime and the efforts to reduce crime. So just last week, WFMY News 2, we sat down with Greensboro Police Chief John Thompson, and he says we're seeing uh, less aggravated assaults this year, but we are on pace to see a record number of homicides. So it's kind of like that, that balance there. What are some of the things uh, that the city plans to do to address the gun violence? One thing that I really appreciate about Chief Thompson is that he is very direct on what his ask is. Last year, we did increase benefits and pay, but he came before city council at our last meeting and said that we really needed to get up to $57,000 in order to attract and retain employees. And I think that's important to hear something just simple like that. So our next budget is coming up. Um, Public safety is one of our priorities, and I think you're really going to see us make a move to be one of the best paying um, cities in North Carolina. And that certainly is a huge piece of it, having enough officers on the street yes. and dedicated officers on the street and retaining them so that they know the community that they're in. Are there other things in the works to help curb crime? We do have um, a new positions and community engagement to get um, our staff out and to build those relationships, to go to community meetings. And one thing that we hear a lot is that they like having police out on the street and building that trust. So, um, you know, besides just the pay and benefits, we are also including the community because we're not going to police our way out of this. This is going to have to be a joint partnership. Mm -hmm. And get the community involved with yes. that too. All right, so let's kind of transition to another major topic and that is affordable housing in the city. This is not the only city having an issue with this. Last month you touched on this a bit in your State of the City address. Yes, so um, I'm part of the Metro Mayors, which are the larger cities in North Carolina. And I can tell you, every one of us talk about affordable housing being at a crisis. And it's also attainable housing, that there just isn't enough inventory at, at all price points. Um, you know, we did have the pallet shelters. They were open for about four months. Um, they worked really well. We were able to transition 57 people out of the pallet shelters into long-term housing. We are working with our local developers on how we can increase our safe, affordable housing stock. Because, mm -hmm. I mean, you're looking at regular, everyday kinds of families who are saying, we're getting priced out of our apartments. We're Absolutely. getting priced out of our houses. Um, some cities have caps about how much people can raise rent. Any kind of talk about that? Well, North Carolina does not allow that. Um, and we can't do things like that without the permission of our state legislature. And due to the makeup of the legislature right now, that is not likely to happen. Okay, so we have to look at other avenues. You said you were talking to developers. What kinds of plans um, are they bringing to the table to kind of help with this? Well, different types of housing and doing, um, you know, right now, lots of cities across the country are talking about in single family zoning to allow duplexes, triplexes and quadplexes um, in order to increase the density and to bring housing prices down. Mm -hmm. So that there is a little bit more inventory, so not everybody's fighting for Absolutely, the same because, apartment. You know, with all of the great jobs that we have coming, one thing that we have heard from employers across the city is that they are having trouble getting their employees to live in Greensboro because of the lack of housing. Mm -hmm. And we need to fix that for sure. Yes. Okay. So there's a recent win for Greensboro homeowners. Low income homeowners can get some money back for property taxes. Let's talk about the tax refund pilot program. Yes. So it is, um, it's, a, it's a small pilot program. We've, we've budgeted about $250,000 for people at certain income levels to ask for a rebate back on their taxes. And of course they have to be um, owner occupied and 
something that will roll out with the next budget. But another thing that we've done, which I think will touch more people, is the down payment assistance programs. We've always had, we called 100 houses, and I think right now we're up to about 1,200 houses, where people can get up to $10,000 in down payment assistance, depending on how much their income is. But we've increased that this year to really target city, county employees, our first responders, um, and our teachers, that if they live in certain reinvestment areas and that they will live there for a number of years, they can get up to twenty to 25000 in forgivable down payment assistance. Is this for first-time homebuyers only? Okay. Yes, it is. It's for okay. first-time homebuyers. All right, so two different housing measures, one of which is the down payment. Which is open to anybody based on their income. And the other one is more of a community Heroes program where we're looking at city and county employees, including teachers, um, and of course, first responders and our veterans. Okay, and so all of that information is going to be on the city's page so it that is, you'll be able to find yes, that. Yes, it's all out on the city's website. All right, and the application for the uh, refund for the property taxes goes live next Monday. The deadline is June 15th, but all of the parameters are there so you can check right now and see if you might be eligible. Absolutely. All right, uh, so we're going to take a quick break. What we're going to do is we're going to take your questions when we come back. That's where the number comes in, 336-379-5775. It is Ask the Mayor time. We'll be back.